Click on the subscribe button, especially the bell on the right side, otherwise you will miss the latest videos. Hello everyone. In this video, I want to talk about how to use Bhrigu Dasha for timing marriages. Bhrigu Dasha, as we know, is a very comprehensive system of prediction. Uh, if you have seen my previous video, um, this Bhrigu Dasha can be applied to time any kind of events, right? And the uh, main important concept here in the Bhrigu Dasha is that we have to always pay attention to the controlling planets. So if you have seen my previous video, I've defined the controlling planets as, as the planets who are the lords of the Arudha Padas, right? So in, in, in case of marriage, we all know the seventh house is the house of marriage. Hence, A7 will be our focal point and the lord of A7 or the Arudha Pada of 7 will become the controlling planet when it comes to the marriage and marital affairs. With that background, let's look at few examples to see how we can use Bhrigupad Dasha for timing the marriages. We'll take the example of chart of Princess Diana. So this is the chart of Princess Diana. If we go to the Nadi Astrology module, we will find the Bhrigu Dasha. Princess Diana got married on 29th July of 1981, when she was running year 23, 21. So running year 21 will fall between 1st of July 1981 to 1st of July 1982 and she got married on 29th of July of 1981. Hence, she got married in the 21st year. So in the 21st year, we have to look at her chart and what we see is the first and the foremost, we have to pay attention to the Lord of A7. So a lot of, here is, here is the A7. So A7 falls in the sign Aquarius in her chart. That means Saturn becomes the Lord of A7 or Saturn becomes the controlling planet for marriages, for marriage and marital affairs. So here, Saturn, natal Saturn goes in the sign Capricorn. Right. And uh, as you can see, all the natal planets are in black. So Saturn is in Capricorn sign and Saturn is retrograde. Now, when we look at the Bhrigupad Dasha at the time of her marriage, you can see that the Saturn, progress Saturn is in the sign Virgo. Now, Virgo sign is a sign which is trying to the seventh house, right? And it is also in trying to the Venus, the Karika of marriage. Hence, we can see that how easily we can predict marriages using Bhrigupad Dasha. Another point to note here is that this progress Saturn is forming a trine connection with the natal Saturn. So as we know, there, there are, we have to pay attention to the Lord of A7 and also pay attention to the seventh house because seventh house is the house of marriage. And the Karka of marriage is Venus. So we have to pay attention to all of these factors to be able to see marriages through Bhrigu Paddasha. So that's how we can see Bhrigu Paddasha can be applied in this chart. 
and how beautifully it is giving the results here in this case. Right. Uh, so let's take at, let's look at the some more examples. So we are going to take a look at uh, the chart of Steven Spielberg. He, as we know, is a great Hollywood director. So this is the chart of uh, Steven Spielberg, uh, the great Bollywood Hollywood director. Um, he is um, Gemini Rising, and then. A7 falls in the sign of Leo, hence Sun becomes a controlling planet for marriage and marital affairs. So as per, as we know about his marriage, so he got marriage on, in the year 85, 1985, in the month of February, so which is his running year 39th. So he got married fairly late in the life, uh, he got married at the age of 39. Uh, so February 85 will fall under this year 39. Right. So we know that the controlling planet here is sun. So we have to see where is the progress sun in the chart at the time of his marriage. So progress sun, as we know that it's indicated in the red color. So we can see the progress sun is over the natal sun and also in trying to the A7. The sign which contains A7, it is in trying to that sign. Hence, it is making a trinal connection, not just with the A7 sign, but also with the Lord of A7 in the natal horoscope. Right? So this is, this is a very easy and very beautiful technique to use for timing the marriages. And as I, as I've always said that not just marriages, you can use Brigupad Desha for timing any sort of events. It's a very beautiful technique given by Sage Brigu. And uh, let's look at some of, some of the other placements, other planets where they are. So we can also see at the time of his marriage, the seventh Lord has gone into the 10th house and the Lord of Ascendant is in the 4th house. So there is a 1-7 connection between the 1st Lord and the 7th Lord. So again, these are some secondary indicators, not as prominent, not, not as important as the trinal, the Lord of A7 and the trinal connection that it is making with the 7th house or 7th Lord or the Aruda or the controlling planet of the 7th of the seventh house. Right. So this is this is how we can see marriages marriage in the case of Steven Spielberg. We'll take one more example. Again, go back to the celebrity section. We will look at the chart of Sri Charan Singh. Ji. So Charan Singh, as we all know, he is a great Indian politician. He was a great Indian politician. This is the chart of Charan Singh. So A7 falls in the sign Pisces. The Lord becomes Jupiter. Jupiter is in sign Capricorn with Saturn. Now we go to the Nadi Astrology module and click on the Bhrigu Dasha. So as per the as per the data which is available, he got married on 25th June 1929, which falls under running year 23. So we go to the running year 23. <coughs> and then uh, in the running year 23, we see that the progress Saturn is in the 11th house. Hence, the progress Saturn is making a trinal collection with the 7th house. Right. And uh, 
with Saturn, we also have the Karaka of marriage, Venus in the 11th house. So Venus also is making a trinal connection with the seventh house. So we can see there are, these are the clear indications about the time fructive, a very important time for the marriages. And we can, we know that he got married during 23rd year. And we can see that this is clearly visible using Rigupad Desha. So uh, with that, uh, what I wanted to share here is that timing of marriage using Rigupad Desha is very easy. There are few basic rules which we need to remember. We always have to pay attention to the Lord of A7. And uh, we also need to remember the trinal aspect. So all the here we are paying more attention to the trinal aspect. So any planet which is, um, let's say in the 11th house, so it will make a trinal connection with the planets in the third house or the third house. And also it will make connection with the seventh house. So we know that 159 is a trine, trine signs. So in that way, I mean, you can take any sign and then count fifth and the nine sound signs from it. And that will give you the trine signs to a particular sign. So in that way, you have to look at the trinal aspect and the controlling planet. And then if you use Prikupad Dasha, it will, it will instantly tell you if the marriage can be seen in a particular year or not. I hope you like this video. Uh, please put your questions in the comment section and I'll be happy to reply back to them. Thank you for watching. Bye.